FDA's message to the logistics industry prior to the 2012 Olympics was to plan ahead. And now one week into London's Games, it looks like their preparation has worked. Despite the media speculation of travel chaos, traffic levels on London's roads during the sporting spectacular have dropped by 17%. One man who knows firsthand what it has been like delivering to the capital is Iceland's driver of the year, Zoltan Havesi. Deliveries are going to schedule uh, and the planning is uh, proving successful. Uh, the move to earlier uh, deliveries has helped in managing uh, whatever the traffic is out there, even non-Olympic related traffic is. So it's been a very smooth process so far. Uh, we've been uh, delivering uh, on time uh, as it was uh, planned. DHL works in partnership with Iceland who have continued to make deliveries to their 100 stores around London throughout the Olympics. Managing Director of Transport for DHL is Tim Slater. Well, to date, our plan to look at retiming, our resourcing and our rescheduling, our rerouting have worked really well. Um, we've had minimal issues and where we have had issues, we've been able to deal with those decisively and efficiently. Planning was absolutely critical. We had to plan for every eventuality and having the plans in place when we've had issues, we've got information in, we've been able to deal with those issues. The role of the FTA during the Olympics and in the planning up to the Olympics has been instrumental. They've pulled the industry together and given us an effective communication channel. Working with Transport for London, FTA has been able to keep its members up to date and informed of any information they need to keep on the move and enable them to make their deliveries with a minimum of disruption during the Olympics. As Natalie Chapman, FTA's Head of Policy for London, explains. FTA members seem to be coping very well. The roads are much quieter than expected. The transport chaos that was predicted doesn't seem to have materialised. And some parts of the network are quieter than usual. The planning certainly has paid off. FTA members have put years of planning ahead of the Games. And Transport for London have put out clear messages to motorists which have been heeded. The Olympics has been a huge success, actually. Uh, we've been in daily contact with Transport for London. They're helping us keep our members up to date with the latest information. Prior to the opening ceremony of the London Olympics 2012, the mantra had been plan for the worst and hope for the best. Well, since the 27th of July, it appears that that advice has paid off because the plans and preparation that have been put in place by the freight industry has ensured that deliveries to London have been made with no complications. Added to that, the teamwork of the FTA, its members and Transport for London had ensured that customers have been kept happy. Julie Maddox reporting for the Freight Transport Association.